Hi, I'm Chris Kearns. I'm the UK Regional Manager for Altus Consulting. And today I'm joined by Ian Stewart and Roger Light. Hi, Ian. Hi, Chris. Hi, Roger. Hi, Chris. Ian and Roger are two of our most experienced consultants and have a lot of experience with Power BI as well as data visualization best practice principles. Ian and Roger conduct the bulk of our Power BI training. So today we're going to have a bit of a chat about our foundational Power BI course, which is Power BI Dashboard in a Day, otherwise known as Dyad. Roger, what exactly is Dyad? So Dyad is based around a series of hands-on labs that take students from a set of raw source files all the way through to a working dashboard that they can view online and even see on their mobile. We start the day with a, a presentation on what Power BI is and, and how it can be used. And then in the labs, the students will work with Power Query Editor to connect to and clean the data. They'll use Power BI Desktop to build visualizations and their report. And then they'll use the Power BI service to publish their report and make that available for others to see. Uh, also during the day, we demo some best practice reports that we've produced for customers to show the art of the possible in Power BI. Fantastic. So it's an end-to-end -end foundation in Power BI across the course of a day. Thank yep. you. Ian, who should attend Power BI? Well, anybody who wants to or who is currently telling stories with data in, in uh, one manner or another, be that through Excel, which tends to be the most common, or even PowerPoint, uh, they need to have some reporting experience. And they may be a senior leader or a team manager or a dedicated data analyst. And they may want to, to attend the course to evaluate Power BI for their organization or simply to, to pick up some best practice skills and tips because they've been largely self-taught. Cool, thank you. So we've been delivering Power BI Dashboard in a Day training since August 2019, and I know we've trained over a 1,000 students now through the delivery of 25 iterations of this course, both publicly and directly for organisations. Ian, if I could start with you, what have we learned through that process? Every time we run a, a dyad, we ask the participants to fill out a survey. And we've learned a lot from those surveys, particularly when we transitioned into to online delivery. Obviously, that was a huge change for everybody. Um, so we needed to uh, up our game in terms of how to engage students in, in an online capacity. And so we now use chat quite extensively and we ask the students to chat to everybody so they can learn from each other. We also introduced the use of breakout rooms for one on one support with a, an instructor so as not to disrupt the main class. And also, again, to increase engagement throughout the day, we scatter the day with a few polls. Cool. Roger, anything else you'd like to add to that? So I think one thing that's come through over the year is that the course is very flexible. So some people will want to work through all of the labs during the time that they have in the day and get a, a, an overview of, of the whole process. But you can actually uh, keep the lab materials at the end of the day. You can finish working on any labs that you, you don't get done. And that gives others the opportunity to maybe focus on a particular area of the course that really interests them, spend a little bit more time on that. And that means that people can actually get a, a success in a pretty diverse range of learning goals that they might have. Nice, nice. So we've been delivering the course online since the commencement of the pandemic back in March 2020. What would you say, Roger, are the pros and cons of online delivery? So I think, um, as Ian mentioned, we all had to adapt when we first started doing this online. It is very different to, to delivering it face to face, but actually it, it works pretty well. I think that the course and the, the, the delivery of it really lend itself to a socially distanced climate. Um, one of the advantages for everybody is being able to potentially split the course over a couple of days if that happens to work uh, better for people's work schedules um, uh, or the other things that time commitments that they've got. Excellent. How about from your perspective, Ian, pros and cons? 
I think one of the, the big pros is is no travel uh, for the, the students or for us. So that's a, a lot of time saving, a lot of money saved, and it helps to save the planet. So that's a win all round. Um, the, the other challenge is the interaction. Obviously, when you're face to face with students in a class, that's relatively simple. Um, but as I said previously, we've worked on that really, really hard. Uh, and through our use of polls, breakout room and chat, uh, uh, we think we've got that to a, a pretty good level now. And certainly the, the, the survey responses reflect that. And I, I know you're being very modest there because I see the survey scores and you guys are averaging in the mid 90 percent uh, score for presenter satisfaction. So uh, I can certainly attest to that. Well, thank you very much for your time, both of you. And for anyone watching, if you're interested in learning more about how we can deliver Power BI dashboard in a day directly to your organization to help people get the foundations in Power BI, again, we can split the day, course over two days if needed. Um, and we cap the course to 15 students to maximize personal attention. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to learn more, please get in touch with any of us and see you later. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Good. I like it. Three. <laughs> It would have been better if you put a cross through the two and then wrote three next to it. I could have done that. You might have to forget to take 27. <laughs> Ian, can you do the clapboard, please? There we go. Get a good smile from us all. Take four. <laughs> <laughs>